Is this the luckiest person of all time? Or might we even say the unluckiest? Maybe a combination of both. Is it some kind of mystical force? Or is it randomness taking on a form that we can't understand? Looking at lottery winners, there's a common saying that they usually end up broke or dead. Does that mean that winning the lottery is unlucky, or it's the gift of luck given to people who have no idea what to do with it? These are a lot of questions flying around at once. Let's break it down by understanding what luck truly is. We describe and think of luck as a favorable outcome that is outside of our control. Well, that's the essence of it, but it still leaves a lot of questions unanswered. Luck has always been a word in the human language. A dream catcher, a rabbit's foot, acorns, dollar horse, four-leaf clover, there's too many to count. But we have all, at least at one point, had lucky charm with us. Puppet masters aren't pulling our strings, there's no Yoda using the force. Luck seems to be where chance and our consciousness combines, like a filter that our brains apply to randomness. But as it turns out, it might be how we respond to chance that can change our lives. Maybe we can get more lucky. Let's go deeper into the story of Frank Salak. He survived seven brushes with death. The first time, he survived a bus crashing into a lake. Later, he was in a train crash up in the mountains. He fell from a plane 800 meters above ground. When driving a car, it randomly caught on fire. This even happened a second time two years later. Two years after that, he was hit by a bus, and he finally swerved off a mountain down 100 meters below. He survived all of this and died of old age. But is this man lucky that he survived all the incidents? Or unlucky because he was so close to dying? That depends on how you see it. Psychologist Richard Wiseman conducted a 10 year study on people who consider themselves unlucky and people who consider themselves lucky. This was to discover the psychology of luck. Is it just chance or is it a mindset? In one of the experiments, both the lucky and unlucky participants were given a newspaper and were asked to count the amount of photographs inside. On average, the unlucky people took about two minutes to complete the task, whereas the lucky people only took a few seconds. But how come? Because on page two in the newspaper, in big bold font, it said, Stop counting. There are 43 photographs in this newspaper. Wiseman also placed another text halfway through the newspaper that said, Stop counting. Tell the experimenter you have seen this and win $250. The unlucky people missed this opportunity because they were still too busy looking for the pictures. These findings, according to Weissman, reveal that luck is neither a magical ability or the result of random chance. He instead said that people's thoughts and behaviors are responsible for their good or bad luck. The experiments show that luck has more to do with our mindset rather than any external factors. So what do lucky people do differently than unlucky people? And can you become more lucky as a person? There are four principles that lucky people follow. Lucky people create, notice and act upon the chance opportunities in life. They create lucky decisions by using their intuition and gut feeling, not ignoring it and just following directions constant optimism. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you think yourself as a lucky person, luck is going to come to you. Whereas if you think yourself as an unlucky person, bad luck is going to come to you. And last of all, they're resilient, being able to transform their bad luck into good luck. If a boulder happens to fall right in front of them, they think of themselves as lucky people that they survived, rather than unlucky that they had a near-death experience. So luck as a concept is made up in your own head. So don't mix up the words luck and chance. Chance is things that you have no control over, where you're born, how much money your parents have, etc. Someone born in the Republic of Congo, for example, has an average income of only $2,200 a year. As for someone born in the US, it's around $40,000 a year. But once again, it's how you react to chance that makes your luck. Let me tell you a story about the old man with the horse. His horse, which is a considerable part of his property and livelihood, runs away. After weeks, his horse finds its way back and brings along other horses, increasing the man's wealth and status in the community. When trying to ride one of the newly found wild horses, the farmer falls and breaks his leg, reducing his physical capabilities. When the barbarians attack his land, the injured farmer is not drafted and does not have to join the battle to help with the defense, whereby he survives and escapes death. This is a great, albeit a bit exaggerated, example of how one can be lucky in situations where it seems as if there's no hope. 
and it might even be influenced by the mindset of the person accepting your fate and letting go. Let's go deeper into the notion that lottery winners are unlucky when a person wins an immense amount of money, going from poor to extremely wealthy in an instant. You may think of this as a dream come true, but in a lot of cases, this marks the start of their rest of a miserable life. Their relationships falter, everyone asks them for money. Addiction is another risk. Having access to a vast amount of money combined with the loneliness and isolation of ruined relationships can easily turn a person to drugs or other destructive habits. What about the loss of purpose? Most people dislike their jobs, but for a lot of people, their job, whilst hated, could also be seen as their purpose in life. Losing this red thread and not having any goals to strive for, usually goals of making a lot of money, can be very damaging to one's mental health. You see, this is the opposite of the old man and the horse story. Something happens that could at first glance be seen as extremely lucky, but in reality is extremely unlucky. Maybe this just means that if you're lucky once, the natural balance of the world counterweights it with a healthy or unhealthy dose of unluckiness. But this is all just extremely subjective. At the end of the day, anyone has the ability to become luckier. It's just changing the way you think the way you behave, understand the mindset of a lucky person, and you'll bring more fortune into your life.